audible. We are. Okay. Uh, but I'm having trouble getting the uh, game to show up, so just one second while I figure that out. Portrait. Um, There's nothing on the TV. Oh, the TV should be That's gone. Right. No. That's, That's why. That might be the wrong <laughs> Hello, Praetor Zin. Hello. How's it going? There's the game. Yeah, I don't. Whoops. Whoop. There we go. Live game reportable. LGP. Are you kidding me, dude? What were you playing? Oh, uh, that's that's um. Uh, Dead Cells. Oh, I never heard of it. It's good. It looks cool. It's pretty fun. Um, I can't get the video to show up. What the heck in the frick? What a fun stream this will be. <laughs> I've been having this weird issue where, like, every third time I start OBS, I can't access the, uh, Streaming device. Mm -hmm. I wonder if is that the issue? Oh no! Oh, uh, this is so frustrating. Every time, dude. Every single time. How was everyone's week? Zai Prophet says happy Friday. Ben says happy Friday. Volker says hi there. How's it going, guys? Hello, happy Friday, everyone. Um. Good gravy. All right, I'm restarting OBS. I'll be right back. Yeah, that didn't work. Ah. Uh. Oh, Gardner. What? Nothing. How's everybody's week been? So I probably says I bought the deck because of you. Nice. Are you enjoying it? That's the question. I literally recorded with this, like, you know what I just realized? What? I'm a freaking silly goose. It's... This had the wrong cable plugged in. Watch, ready? There hey! it is! Finally, oh ten minutes later. Oh my god, I am so <laughs> sorry, everybody. Ugh, okay. Now we can actually play a game. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Maurice says that I'm the silliest goose. He is. He is as right. silly as geese get. So, what game should we play? Now, now we got to decide mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should probably put the chat up on the screen too. And then we'll play. Chat. I'm going to pop out this chat here. We're going to go like this. Now we're going to go like I feel like stuff like this happens a lot. 
where you're like mystified by something and then you realize 20 minutes later that you just didn't have the right thing plugged in. Am I wrong? That That is often the case. Yes. <laughs> a glimpse into our daily life. Into you, the way you the way you suffer. <laughs> the way I suffer, yeah. Yeah. Just having you, to deal with you, you and like, it. where is it? Yeah. What's wrong? What is going on? And I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> is this gonna connect to my Steam Deck? <laughs> Automatically. What's up, guys? No, she's not. She's not gonna connect. So I'm gonna go like this. Careful when you sit down, your laptop's plugged in. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go to settings. And we're gonna go to Bluetooth. And we're gonna go to wireless controller. Connect. Or we're going to forget these controllers. Jesus. And then we're going to connect them. Oh my god. Like this. Welcome to my life, guys. And then Jeez. all the voices. External monologue. This is what living with gardeners is. Do you, do you like. have an issue right now? Are we going to have this out on stream? <laughs> Who said anything about an issue? I just said, welcome to my life. Alright. Now, now, we're good. We're good. Now we're great. Now we're golden. Now we're golden. Should have brushed my hair before I did this. It's ridiculous right now. You know, we don't have sound either. I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Guys. How is it that I'm more prepared when 10 minutes ago you said, we got a stream tonight, and I said, oh yeah, I forgot. You're more prepared. What did you do, pee? And now you're ready to stream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail, man. <laughs> Alright, let's pull up the chat on here so we can actually read the chat. Yeah. What game should we play, guys? He's got a lot. I got a lot. I picked up Doom 3. Uh, over the spring sale. Dude, we don't have sound, man. Why not? Is it the TV? No, it's the Steam Deck. It's being stupid. That's not... See, now... There it is! Yeah, but that's coming from that, but... Oh. Sorry. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Well, so it's not coming through the TV, but... It's just coming through our deck. Yeah. So, what games do y'all want to see us play? And let's go here, go live, and we'll look at our chat. I really should have been more on this. I apologize. But what is a Friday night stream if it's not intensely frustrating? A hot mess. <laughs> um, what's the newest? Uh, what do you the shield uh, as a Bluetooth device for. I don't. I don't use it. I don't know why it, it broadcasts the Bluetooth signal. I just use the uh, uh, this dang thing here. This thing ding. Okay, this is not loading. <laughs> I feel like this is a Murphy's Law night. Mm -hmm. 
everything that can go wrong. <laughs> it will and is. <laughs> yeah. Guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, let's let's sort by latest. Uh, <laughs> wait, how do you sort by latest on here? I thought you could do that. Is last played? Is that what you want? No, I want like the games I most recently bought. Well, then that I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the home screen. I think it'll show me the games I've most recently bought. Oh yeah, I bought a bunch of Homestar Runner games because it was like five bucks for the pack. That's pretty cool. Nice. You know what we should do is Shadow Complex. I don't know what that is. Do you guys ever play Shadow Complex? It's fun. Uh, it's really, really fun. This is actually the first game I beat on Steam Deck. Nice. Yeah. So this is like a uh, side scroller, uh, Metroidvania style uh, game. Dude, I'm trying to get. I'm literally trying to get. I can't even click on stuff. <laughs> like it's not. I'm not. I'm trying to click on things. It's not clicking. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> We're not ignoring you people, we just can't read your comments. I'm trying to get to the comments, guys. He's trying very hard. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, at this point, I am literally about to, like, lose my shit. I can't... All right, we're we're using Microsoft Edge. We're that desperate, guys. <laughs> we are that desperate. <laughs> um, YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna have to freaking sign in. Here, you play a game. I, okay, I don't know how to do any of this. Okay. What? Uh, we're gonna deliver on the promise of playing a game right now. Uh, that's the minimum we can do. I'm gonna go casual because I don't know this game. Yeah, it's easy. You'll have fun. Easy for you. Okay, I'm not gonna remember. Why do this. I have... Everybody Wang Chung tonight? Why is that in my head? It's a good question. I can't log in. <laughs> I need my two. I need my phone. It's a lot of good. Well, thanks everyone for coming anyway and staying. <laughs> Gardner, your phone is on the floor in front of the TV. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not okay! <laughs> oh shit, I'm supposed to be doing something. What? Okay. Oh right, you said this is a side scroller. Yeah. What? Oh shit, what am I. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> There we go. Now I'm logged into YouTube. Oh wait, oh shit. What am I supposed to do? You gotta shoot. Oh, okay. Wait. I don't even know what button. You pull the right trigger, I believe. Oh, that makes sense. I've just been like punching people.
No, it's still not loading, guys. Oh my god. I can't read the freaking comments. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm, I'm about to lose it. Pentagon, this is Dallas. Right here. Pentagon, this is Dallas. The vice president is safe. Trying to like skip these cuts, you know, and I can't. Mm. Why isn't it working? Dude, I I can see all the stats, but it's not loading the chat and it's not loading the uh, this the That's the stream. So weird. I. Uh, can I pull it up on my phone at least? Can I? Or can I, like, view the video? Watch our own stream while we're streaming. Wait, I could do it on my phone, right? Yeah. Do you want me to just do that and play? Is this what they call a redneck rigging? It's a good thing you got those baby blues, cutie. All right, follow me down in 20. Don't worry, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, says the girl who explored this cave as a kid. He'll be fine. Don't mean to just do that. Yeah, right. There we go. All right. Finally. There you go. Oh, it worked out. Okay. Well, so I just pulled it up on my yeah. phone too. That might have been what did it. Okay. Eighteen. All right. Hello. I'm so sorry, guys. Guys, I'm trying this to... is. It's this is embarrassing. <laughs> I am embarrassed. Hello, Maurice. It's nice to meet you. If you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna play this game here. <laughs> Martin said, and I thought Gardner was the Where? Linux Where? expert. Hello. <laughs> I mean, LTT just got hacked, so. <sighs> Mike Shaw said, "Did Perfect. you turn it off and turn it on again?" Claire, this isn't funny. No, I did not. Claire. Mm. Reddit on 8, my deck arrived this morning. Time to rewatch some videos to help me set things up. Congratulations, enjoy. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Have fun with that. Um. I acquired climbing gear. Well, I'm glad that everything worked out. Finally. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sticking with us if you're still here. <laughs> Alright. So this game is a, is a like, Metroid. Or Castlevania. So I need to get through here. So some person ninety nine, you have this game. Is that what you're saying? Very cool. This is a this is like a classic. If you don't have this game and you're into Metroidvanias, you're missing out. It's really really good. Um. It's interesting starting this game over because the last time I played it, I had like I was fully powered up. Probably need to sprint to avoid that camera. Locked. So it's interesting because I I don't have all the power ups now anymore. Mm. Um, there you go. Yeah, I can't get through there yet. Mm. <laughs> it's giving me like 2006 vibes. It is, it is, 
I think it came out in maybe 2010. Mm -hmm. So it is closer to 2006 than it is to today. We'll just say that. What's everybody saying here? Um, some person 99 said, yes, I have a problem. I have a lot of games on Steam, but haven't played a lot of them. Been playing a lot more, though, since I got the deck. Nice. Yeah. You have a lot of games you haven't played, right? A ton, yeah. Oh, this is 2009. That's what I was looking for. Is it 2009? Okay. Yeah. So, here's, here's a tip when you're playing this game. Uh, some, one of these buttons turns on the uh, thing, and it, uh, your thing, and it highlights the uh, things that you can shoot in, mm -hmm. in yellow. Oh, cool. So, they're like, there's, these That's are like helpful. secret passageways, whatever. Mm hmm. That's giving me, like, claustrophobia real bad. Mm hmm. Um, good evening to you, Albatuga. Thank you for joining us. You probably came at the right time where you missed the 20 minutes of confusion and chaos and tomfoolery. Yeah. But what, what good is a stream if it's not full of technical baloney? Got it. I, so, I originally played this game on the 360, mm -hmm. and it's really hard for me to believe that this was from 2009, mm. but it was. Mm. Z Prophet says, Metal Gear Room, where's the Rex? Oh, they, they're coming. There's, there, there's a lot of, like, Metal Gear style stuff in this game. Mm-hmm. I'll put you to adjust my look. I always miss the good parts. Yeah. It was... I mean... I don't know if I'd say it was good. <laughs> I laughed a lot. <laughs> yeah, you tend to laugh at my pain. You make it so easy. Um, Praetor's in. They may as well make it so we can pass... Uh, oh, pass on our... Uh, Steam libraries in our wills. Yeah. That would be nice. Yep. I bequeath you my... Um, excuse me? What? What? What did you just say? I bequeath you. Oh. Do you think I said queef? Yeah. I'm a lady gardener. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the only type of person capable of a queef is a lady. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Gross. Uh, Joshua Man, and how long will you be streaming? Will there be a shot at any other games? Um, if we get bored of this game, yes, well, we can play other games. Uh, if you guys want me to play another game, uh, then let me know. Yeah, someone else recommended something earlier when we couldn't see the comments. <laughs> uh, Quake. Is he profited? Uh, I don't have Quake, I don't oh, Okay, so I guess we're not gonna play that one. Um, but yeah, we've, we've, uh, we've done that before where we've gone through, like, a bunch of different games because we get bored. Yep. Hell, we'll even play like Tetris at some point, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That's well, happened. I have Tetris Effect, but right. that's got like uh, copyrighted music in it. Oh, right. Never mind. Um, got him. Z Prophet. He's right, though. Oh, about the queefs. I'm always right. That's what people don't understand. What? Nothing. You're right. Thank you. About everything. As I have expressed many times. Yeah. Joshua says my vote is for is it Planescape slash Disco Elysium, if you have it. I don't have either of those. Oh, sorry, Joshua. Or Josh, if you like that. Some people don't like nicknames, that's fair. You have a, a hard name to nickname. 
Maybe that's as intended. I, I when I was a teenager or a young adult or no. A kid. A kid. I wanted to be called Gar. I hated my name. Mm -hmm. I I hated my name. But now I love it. Mm -hmm. The prophet. He's never made a correction in any of his videos. He is, in fact, always right. Um, actually, no, you're you're absolutely right. Um, uh, I've never I've never needed to make a correction. <laughs> Didn't you get math wrong in something? Math, there. Math is an opinion, man. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. I just, oh, I just remember like me complaining about math to one of my math teachers, and then being like, "It's the only, you know, test you can take where you can't like bullshit your answers, and it's universal language, and it's, you're either right or wrong, which totally goes against your statement that math is an opinion." Um. It is an opinion. Dude, math was invented, not discovered. Just saying. That's all I'm saying. And I know that's gonna tweak some <laughs> tweak some egos in the in the chat, but I don't care. Oh my god. Abatuga. Math is an opinion. Dot dot dot. That's what I said. Did I stutter? I got grenades. Congrats. I don't remember how to use them though. There you go, that way. <laughs> oh, here's your Metal Gear, guys. cook over here. <laughs> Joshua said snake. Snake. Oh, snake. This boss battle kind of sucks, by the way. Like in a, it's not fun or it's hard. Like. Uh, it's, it's not engaging. It's not fun to play. Mm -hmm. Gardner has a very strict definition on what makes something fun to play. Yes, it's it's strict, rigid, rigid and inflexible. <laughs> Just like fun should be. <laughs> Come on, Jason, think. I should go back and get more grenades. Yeah. Stock up, you know. Oh, what's everybody saying, honey? Nothing really. Just the prophet said, "There it is." Yeah, I beat it. So, what game should I play? I'm kind of over this already. Yeah. Um, let's go to the library, and I'll show you what games I have. Um, so we have. Um, but now you have let's to go reason. alphabetical. So we got. Uh, let's go to all games. And if you see one, shout it out. Mm. I've been thinking about Pizza Tower, but I don't own Pizza Tower yet. So. Um, some of, a lot of these aren't installed right now. So if we want to play them, then we'll have to install them. What? Nothing. I'm kind of leaning towards Doom, but... Doom 3, but... Mm. It's a little bit... Um, polarizing. Albatuga said, France, they'll wipe the floor with Holland. I don't know what that is. Is that a game? 
Uh, uh, some person ninety nine said, "Any classic from Gog you installed manually?" Uh. Oh, Joshua said, "Death Loop." Death Loop. We could try that. I think I have that installed. Um, Z Prophet wants to know what uh, your opinion on what Konami did to MGS as a franchise. What your opinion is on that? Um, Konami sucks. And they should feel bad. Okay. Um, I have never really been a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Um, I've never been a huge fan of Metal Gear Solid. But I did like the first one. You know, I was a kid when it came out. But it was mm -hmm. good. Um, and let's see, what else? I have a question. Yeah. It's totally off topic. Okay. But were we having issues with the chat because you popped that out on that computer? No. Okay. Just. It's good insight, but no. Okay. It was a good, it was a good thought. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> excellent get, gre, guess, Kreskin. Wrong, but ex excellent. I can't. Uh, excellent guess, Kreskin. Wrong, but I, ask, excellent. I can't say the word excellent? What is going on with me? <laughs> Do you know what that's from? No. That's from Johnny Carson. Oh, sorry. Jeez. I don't... Excellent I guess, Kreskin. It was, I think it was Ed McMahon would say that. Because he... Cause... Here's Johnny. Yeah. That's all I really know about Ed McMahon. Yeah, Ed McMahon. Star Search. Yeah. I know who The sun is. is still out. So nice. I'm it's so, so nice. happy spring is here. Although I hear we're getting more snow up where we are, and I hope that it's incorrect. Oh, when I turned the computer on, it said snow. Oh, wintry mix. Yes. <laughs> but that might have been old. Um, the prophet said I played Deathloop on the deck. It was not working very well. Peter W says, "Ooh, this one is on my wish list." Prater Zin says Konami has sort of turned around as of late though at least insofar as they are uh, putting out some well done remasters like the Cowabunga collection and Suikoden Suikoden yep one and two um Hires Merc says hey man just wanted to drop by and say thank you so much for your channel I have been busy with work and kids and got out of touch, but the Steam Deck brought me back to my gaming roots. Heck yeah. Uh, Albatuga, it is currently 7.08 p.m. where we are. Um, and yeah, it's still, it's not not dark yet. It's not dark yet. We could go for a comfortable walk uh, with this level of brightness. Mm. Um, Z Prophet said, oh, for a request game, I say No Man's Sky. It looks amazing on the deck. Do you have that? I do have no man's guy. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of death loop, but death loop from what I've I've played it for like maybe twenty five minutes, and it's not really my style of game. Um, but we'll see what the chat says by the time this game launches, because it's taking mm -hmm. forever to launch. What? You're adorable. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're more adorable. No, thank you. You're more adorable. I feel like there's a Lord of the Rings reference I could make, but I don't really know Lord of the Rings that well. Yeah. So I won't do it out of respect. <laughs> what is going on? This is ridiculous. There we go. So, Albatuga, are you four hours ahead of us or four hours behind? I'm assuming ahead if you're, like, shocked that the sun is still up. Um... <sighs> Some person ninety nine. Have you ever tried three D sun? I probably said that wrong. I apologize. I don't know what that is. Three D sun. Mm. Uh, this feels like it's not gonna work today. It was mm. working the other day. <laughs> what? Um. Jackson said maybe the real death loop was the loading along the way. <laughs> Um, Z Prophet, more adorable. Yeah, that that was kind of what I was thinking of. That I was worried I was gonna say it wrong and like 
incite some nerd rage. Uh, Bill is asking if it's boot looping. What does that mean? Boot, boot looping is when a, com a, a computer or a digital device doesn't get past like the boot up process and it like resets itself during the boot up process so it just is in a boot mm. loop. Oh, that sounds fun. No, it's not. Mm. It's miserable. It's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> 3D Sin is a, an NES emulator that plays games in 3D. Oh, uh, I have not tried that. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't. I can't decide which uh, color scheme to use. Uh, guys, what do you? Which which color scheme do you prefer for these lights? We got red and yellow. We got standard warm white, which I'm not keen on. We got red and neon blue, and we got orange and blue. The prophet said, yeah, this is the same problem I had. It says playable, though. Or pl it says playable, well, too. Well, I've played it on here. See, it just loaded. Mm -hmm. There's the loading screen. Uh, the loading bar filled up. Um, but it doesn't get past this part. Mm. Praetors then said, I was surprised by the Xbox emulation video as I figured it would run poorly on deck, but emu deck is sweet. Oh, yeah. Emu deck is awesome. But emu deck is just a script that like, here wait, let's do it. Let's do an emulated game because Deathloop's not working. Um, what about the other one? What was the other one? Is it No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky. Um, no Man's Sky. I got it right here. I've only played it for like fifty minutes. Mm. Um, Albatuga says white is better for camera. As far as the lights go. And then Joshua says, maybe run the alien siren on red. Um, Ro Ropodal says, accent color according to game you are playing. That's something I want to set up at some point. Um, I'd love to sample, like, I'd love to have my computer sample the video feed and then intelligently change the colors in here, but uh, mm -hmm. I have not got that set up yet. Uh, that'll be a ways off if I ever get around to it. Mm -hmm. I ha I have a um. Oh wait, I gotta turn this performance overlay off because it drives me crazy. Um, I have a I have these lights set up on Home Assistant so I can like control them. What? Uh, Z Prophet says the cam is dark with the red right now. The camera is too dark. But uh, Praetor's in like red and blue. Well, there's orange and blue, and there's red and neon blue. I like this one personally. Uh, but we could also do this. Wait, wait, wait. If I go like this. Oh, that's too much. Oh, God. Oh, that's too much. No, we're not doing that. Um, Albatuga is wondering what OS you're currently running. On Steam Deck? I Well, on Steam Deck, I have Steam OS. Uh, on my uh, computer, I have Windows, unfortunately, um, because of editing requirements. Um, and this is a, a Microsoft Surface that's also running Windows. And I know that if I was if I was on Linux, on well, this machine doesn't support Linux. The Surface has like really terrible support for uh, Linux, or Linux has terrible support for that, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. But on on this machine, um, I'm gonna get a uh, virtual machine. Uh, I'm gonna set up Windows in a virtual environment on that machine. Uh, I just haven't got around to it yet. Um, and when I do, I'm gonna have. Uh, it's probably going to be some uh, arch-based distro. I have no idea how to play this game, by the way. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Space is bright blue. Whoa, what the heck?
I have no idea what I'm doing. People are gonna have to like direct me. Yeah. Um. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh. Hires Merc can't stay, but have fun. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Hires Merc. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, have I'm, a great rest of your night. Yes. I really, really appreciate Super Chats. Um, it makes what we're doing here possible. So, mm -hmm. uh, in live stream, like doing the live streams like this, we're having a, a lot of fun doing them. And uh, it, it means the world to us when you guys do that. So, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, this is. I have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to do in this game at all. <laughs> yeah, is there uh, a map? Z Prophet, we need you. <laughs> they said, oh man, this game has me addicted on the Steam Deck. I literally don't know what the heck to do. Mm -hmm. What? Just, Harry's Mark gave us a thumbs up, oh, so nice. I gave it back. Um, Z Prophet, do more streams. I'll try to catch them after I do my stuff. Thanks. Yeah, we uh, we definitely do need to do more streams. Yeah. We were doing them um, on a different... We were doing them on the second channel that I set up to do live streams on. But, like, people didn't... Like, we had, like, a couple people tune in regularly. But, you know... Yeah. It didn't really make sense to do them on a separate channel. Yeah, and then, like, life just kept getting in the way, or we'd, yeah. like, forget to do it. And <laughs> yeah. Um, but we did have a lot of fun. We had a really fun community there. Small but mighty. Um, yeah. Z Prophet says, land on a planet. Um, and Albatug is wondering what your opinion about the new AI feature on Windows. Um, I haven't used any... AI features on Windows yet. Um, I'm looking at. I'm. I'm. I'm excited by and terrified of uh, mm. ChatGPT or yeah. GPT four. Um, like they just rolled out plugins, and I'm gonna like look into what is involved in developing plugins for mm. it. But at the same time, the open source guy in me, the huge freaking nerd in me, is like, don't don't use a proprietary chat uh bot use a uh a whatchamacallit like a like something like llama mm. but you know uh z profit unfortunately the other sub that we used to do uh it was gardner bryant live has been changed to gardner bryant shorts yeah i changed so it to a shorts channel because i it has died what what? What's died? It's died. What has died? Gardner Bryant Live. It's not dead. It's it's transformed. Just reborn. Um. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Because I'm lugubrious. Yes, uh, you are. <laughs> Jackson, your nickname is Small but Mighty in high school. Who? Jackson. I said Small but Mighty, my nickname in high school. Is that Jackson? Is that my Jackson? That is my Jackson. What's up, it's your Jackson? Jackson? Hello, Jackson. I'm glad you could make it. For everybody who doesn't know, Jackson writes articles for Review Sync. Hold the square, says Z Prophet. Yes. Review Sync. I'm just realizing that Jackson was like joking, like, oh, I was a nickname in high school. I don't know. What it took me a second to, like, read the subtext. Well, what's the subtext? Like, just, that's like a joke. Like, oh, was my nickname in high school. Unless it really was Jackson. Uh, hi. Oh, uh, Z Prophet says, hold the square to land. I think, I don't know if you're, like, past that. Yeah, I, I literally don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Jackson, I appreciate that you're a lot better about writing stuff for ViewSync. 
<laughs> Whereas it's like me, I'm like, oh, this is something in pop culture I'm interested in. I guess I'll write about that. Highly irregularly. <laughs> Speaking of, is anyone watching Ted Lasso this season? Ted Lasso! So good. Z Prophet said, I love this. He's so new to this. <laughs> With less than three. I don't, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I, on, like, on, li so I was seriously excited for this game. Uh, when the hype train was like like enormous before it came out, um, and then as soon as like things went sideways with Hello Games, well, I was like, you know what, I uh, don't care, and I stopped following it. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I literally don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Yes, Albatuga is waiting. I mean, is uh, watching Ted Lasso. And then Ropodal, I'm assuming that's your name, says waiting for all SP to drop. SP? Um. I'm getting a... Oh, waiting for all episodes to drop. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, because... It's like it's we, kind of unbearable waiting. It's yeah. such a good show. <laughs> like the after the first episode came out, like we watched it because it came out for us at like nine o'clock on a Tuesday night, and like I think it was like that Thursday. I was like, "Is the new Ted Lasso out yet?" Like I was so excited. It felt like forever, and it had only been two days. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I I don't blame you. The first episode. There was a quote that I legit, like, could not stop laughing and was crying and we had to rewind. Because <laughs> it made me yeah. laugh so hard. It's a um, Jamie Tart quote and it's really, it's yeah. classic. It's, and it, it's really, like, only funny to me because I was expecting him to say something different than what he said. Anyway... Uh, Jackson said, the trick to writing is to wake up at 5 in the morning so you don't have enough time to go back to sleep, but you have an awkward amount of time before you have to go to work. Um, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Um. I like that. Uh, Albatuga says, in the real world, Ted Lasso wouldn't last a season. Um. Like, as in, like, a, a football season, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a, a fun concept for a show. Makes me wish I lived in London and liked watching sports. <laughs> Part of me would love to live in London. Me but. too, yeah. I want to, like, be friends with the people on, on the team. Like, Danny Rojas, I think, could be my best friend. Um... Al Batuga said, Wrexham has made a retired goalkeeper come out of retirement to play for them. Is that the... That's, that's Rob McElhinney and someone else, right? Wrexham United or something? Uh, Ryan Reynolds? Right. Anyway. I don't, I don't know. I don't follow sports. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Rapadal is uh, waiting because they're watching only murders in this building. I heard... That's really good, and we were almost going to watch it one night, and we didn't end up watching it, but we got to, because I love Steve Martin. We got another super chat from Joshua Mannon. Thank you. Here's Thank you. Amon's. Have you seen the trailer for Ina Dream Barbecue? If not, maybe match it when you get bored next. Is that a game? I don't know. Joshua, help I'm sorry, I did not understand most of your message. Wait, I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Here's um, Mons. I don't know what that means, Mons. Have you seen the trailer for 
Ina Dream Barbecue. And if not, maybe we'll watch it when you get bored next. Yeah, I don't know. Can you look up um, Ina Dream Barbecue? Yeah. Um, Jorman Gonder just ordered a Steam Deck. So exciting. Hell yeah. Um, I'm very excited for you. Hello, Marcus. Long time no talk. Um, Marcus? Oh, okay. Joshua says it's a game, and I mean, I meant watch it when. Oh, Mons means money. Interesting. I did not know that. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, and thank you for your super chat. We love it. Um, yeah, no, we'll definitely we'll watch that later. Or when you get bored of this. Um, Marcus, it's been forever. We miss you. Uh, Abatuga said London is an awesome city. I might have already read that. I apologize if I did, but I, mm. I really, that's like bucket list. Like I've only been out of North America. Not, no, I've never been out of North America. I've only been outside of the U S once and it was to Quebec, which doesn't count if you're from Maine. <laughs> no, it doesn't Cause count. it's right above us. So if I ever go, it's above us. You don't hear the French Canadians talking. Oui, oui. <laughs> Dude, at risk of sounding xenophobic, I just remember being a kid being like, why are all these people speaking French on the beach with us? Like, I didn't understand, <laughs> like, about Quebec. And, like, it just felt mm. like there were all these, like, old men in Speedos on Old Orchard Beach. My mom would be like, they're from Canada. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely xenophobic. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to whoever suggested me playing this. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> and I don't understand, and I'm probably going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to watch Ina Barbecue. All right. Dream Barbecue. Ina Dream Barbecue. Um. Sorry. I feel bad. I have it. I bought it in a in a seam sale, and I haven't uh, uh, figured it out, like how to play it. Mm -hmm. Um. Red Linux, lol. I'm the same. I've only been out of the states once to Canada. Oh, yeah, I the when I went, um. It was like a school trip, so it wasn't even like necessarily my choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it was cool. Quebec City is pretty cool. Or, sorry, Quebec. So, of yeah. course I'm down. That's not really my style of game, but uh, if you want to play it sometime. Hell yeah. Thank you, Joshua. Um, Ropodle asks, thoughts on CS2? Um, where? Is that Counter-Strike 2? Or what would CS2 be besides counter I don't know what else it would be. What about this? Jackson bought their brother a kill switch for his birthday and a copy of Titanfall for the next nine years. Nice. I, saw, I think you sent me the Titanfall thing, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Albatuga asks if you have Victoria. Uh, if that's a game, no. <laughs> I don't have it. Um, Marcus Adams, that strange and distant land called Canada. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. Very different from up here. We have friends who are Canadian. They, yeah. they like to remind us about free health care and stuff. Uh, Dave And Holt yet they live in the United States. I know. Dave Holtzman, if you're taking game requests, then I recommend Portal Stories Mel. I don't. I have that. Mm. I'm thinking we should like segue to uh, an Xbox game. Is that why you put Unreal Championship on? <laughs> yeah, because we had because I did the video about Xbox today mm -hmm. to show people that it works and it's fun. Oh okay. So is that is a synergy? Yeah, we're synergizing. <laughs> if you guys want me to play a game uh, that I don't have, you're gonna have to like super chat me. <laughs> Because then, then I can afford to buy it. <laughs> God. Um, Rad Linux said, I saw Cool Runnings at a drive-in movie theater on the border near the Catskills. 
That's the Jamaican bobsled team movie. Oh, yeah. I've never seen it, but I remember my brother talking about it a lot. That's cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of this here. Just to go back to Canada, I remember going to college. Oh, Canada! In, so we're from Maine, My born and raised. My home and native land. And. Uh, I went to college in Providence, Rhode Island, and, like, all my friends were, like, not from anywhere near Maine, and they would, like, ask me if I was Canadian or whatever when I told them I was from Maine, and I'd be like, Providence is closer to my mom's house than it is to Quebec, mm. <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> Quebec's, like, five hours away from where I grew up. And Providence was only four. Whoa, this frame rate is B A B bad. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna turn the uh, um. internal resolution down. Z, uh, oh, sorry, Z Prophet said another good game for deck is Hitman 3. I believe I have Hitman. We might have to, uh, or that. Um, Dave Holtzman said Portal Stories Mel is free. Oh, is it? You can't, you can't say super chat me, so I can't forget. Well, I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I love Portal, but I've never heard of Portal Stories Mel. Is uh, it Portal? I mean, what is it? Um, oh, Z Profits from Massachusetts. How What's the fuck up? are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Friggin' New England over here. Um, Ashlyn or something says, Hey, you Gardner and Emily. First time seeing the stream here. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Nice to meet you. Yes. I'm doing fantastic. Jeez. I am. What? Kings <laughs> Prophet said, "Fucking good, and you." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You know what I did actually do after I got the video done for like the last night for the video that went up today. I actually tried to get uh, Insignia working, which is like the Xbox Live emulator. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this, so I'm gonna um, go mm -hmm. back to the main menu and then. Play, like a just a random match. Mm -hmm. Um. The, this game is called Unreal Championship Two: The Leandry Conflict. Uh, Marcus Adams said, "I tried Portal Stories Mel when I got my deck, and there were some issues with the default controls mapping. It might be better now since it says it's verified." Nice. Um. And Ashlyn, I'm just gonna say Ashlyn. From now on, it says, uh, Portal Stories Mel is free, but you need to have Portal 2 before you can get it. I have Portal 2. And they're glad we're doing well. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Wow, this frame rate's not very good. Wow, this frame rate's really bad. Wow, this frame rate's awful. Dude, this is gonna give me like this is, a migraine. Whoa, look at that. That's not supposed to look like that. Jesus Christ. Guys, look at this. This is cool. Jackson was gonna look uh, to Insignia, but these past two weeks have been, have not, have not been super. I contemplated picking up an old Xbox and seeing if I could get it running on that too. Yeah, I, I, if I do an insignia thing, I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up doing it, Jackson. I know I, I asked Jackson to like do the video about, uh, to write the script, or not a script, but an article for ViewSync about insignia. Um, but I figured you'd been doing some stuff, you, like things have been busy for you, so I just decided, decided to do it. Mm -hmm. So I apologize if, if I. Uh, this is unplayable. Are, are, are you <laughs> seeing this? This is awful. Um, <laughs> I, I have both uh, Unreal Championship and Unreal Championship 2 
for the actual mm. Xbox, and it's great. Joshua um, said choice paralysis the stream. No, I'm making choices. I'm just not sticking with them. <laughs> um, Dave said Portal Stories Mel is a community made free modification for Portal 2 based in the Portal universe. It tells the story of Mel who meets a new personality core and faces an undiscovered threat to To and then, what? I don't know, I think there was a it was like a cutoff. Um Prager's in Mrs. Unreal Tournament two thousand four so much. Yeah, I I have it on uh on on Steam here, so um it doesn't work great with a controller. I don't know how long this will take to download, but we'll uh, we'll see. Mm. Oh, it's only eight gigabytes. This should like take five minutes. Mm. Jackson says, as much as I do like writing my guides, I average about around eight to ten hours just for researching slash testing whatever I'm writing about. Yeah. It's good. Let's see. What what's monster prom? Uh up. where? Up. Over there. <laughs> what is Oh, it's one of those freaking graphic no like those cheap graphic novels that gets added to my library when I do humble. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I've heard some good things about it, but I've never played it. Bye, Albatuga. Have a great Bye, night. Bye, Albatuga. Thank you for uh, chilling with us. Yeah. Appreciate you. Glad to see ya. Jackson said, even at that point, people were still telling me they were having issues with the Skyrim mod guide. Not many, luckily. Yeah, that's that was a pretty comprehensive guide. Uh, I appreciate that. It was it was well written, mm. and like you said, there were people who were having trouble, but I mean, most people weren't. Mm. I think a lot of people really dug it. Mm -hmm. You know what we should do? We should do this one. We're gonna do this game here. We're gonna do Lux Trapetta. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do Revolt. Nice. Prejuzin says, "I'm still pissed at Epic for moving." I keep. Reading UT and then just in my head saying UTI. Uh, I'm still pissed at Epic for moving Unreal Tournament from Steam. I was waiting for the Steam versions to go on sale. Would have bought them if I'd known they would be taken down. Still have the GOG copies, though. Uh, I have I have the GOG copies. Uh, I there's a, there's a way that you can, like, synchronize your GOG and Steam library. Look into it. I can't remember what it's called. They might not do it anymore, but back in like 2011, 2013, something like that, GOG and Steam like let you like get a free copy of whatever games you had in the other library. So look into that because you might be able to get your GOG games on Steam. Mm. Um, Ashlyn said, another good couple of games you can get for free if you have Portal 2 are Thinking with Time Machine and Portal Reloaded. Mm. Um, I do like Portal. Yeah. Portal's one of my favorite games ever made. It makes him cry. When does it make me cry? The song. Isn't the song? Oh, make well, cry? yeah, but but the song is awesome. <laughs> um <laughs> Z Prophet said Burnout is good. Do you have revenge? Burnout Revenge. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Mm. I, I definitely don't have it on Steam. Mm. Oh, Jackson says the Steam and God service has since been shut down. Dang it. I'm sorry. Yeah. It mm. was cool while it lasted. I bought a bunch of games. I had, like, pretty much all of the Unreal games on... That is loud. This reminds me of, like, the Hot Wheels computer game my stepbrother had when we were growing up. Yeah. Like, from, like, 2001 or something. 
This is called Revolt. Yeah. Ooh. And you're like an RC car. Is that what yep. it is? Um. Jackson said, so the battlefield removal was something I thought about covering, but there's some stories I have trouble expanding on in a written form. The Prophet, why do I remember this game? Or, sorry, why do I remember this game? That's my best Massachusetts. <laughs> Why are you giving him the accent? Because he's from Massachusetts. He's probably our age. People our age don't have accents. Insensitive. <laughs> Insensitive Emily. Hey, I, I knew someone who was my age in college who was from Massachusetts and he had a pretty thick accent and it was not put on by any means. Well, that would be someone I would choose not to associate with. Oh my god. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? What? Why am I insensitive and you're like, I'm not going to associate with people who have an accent. I, that's not what I said. <laughs> I said I would choose not to associate with someone our age who has an accent. <laughs> I'm not, like, I mean, like a, like a, <laughs> like a regional United States accent. <laughs> Because like that's that's weird. Like, someone our age who has an who has a really thick accent, how is that not weird? Unless they weren't born in the U.S., I think it's weird if they have a what? <laughs> Am I wrong? I I guess I'm a Massachusetts wrong. a person from Massachusetts having a Massachusetts accent. Yeah, is weird. That to is you? weird. It oh is my weird. God. A person from from Maine. Who has a main a person our age from Maine who has a Maine accent? That's weird. Yeah, that's true. Um. <laughs> New York, it's weird. I don't care. Southern accent, I don't care. Southern I accent is a little Southern, su accent. Southern accent's a little more understandable. You're rarely gonna hear someone from the South who talks like us. Rarely. Yeah, just, okay. I'm, all right, anyway. I'm done with this game. Oh. The, the prophet <laughs> said, LMAO, I'm 31. So you're like legit right in between our ages. Yeah, I'm 34. Um, oh, we got a new super chat. Yeah, super chat from Matt. Glad to see your Zemu video. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Uh, great job with the channel and congrats on 100,000 subs. Thank you. See, you hurt Z Prophet's feelings. I'm sorry, Z Prophet. God. I'm fucking, really, I'm really sorry. Fucking cold-hatted over here. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna talk like that for now. See, I was just trying to give you <laughs> shit is what I was trying to do. And then you turned it, turned everybody <laughs> against me in the chat. How did I do that? You, <laughs> I quoted you. I yeah, quoting me to get me in trouble. You're literally You're trying to cancel me right it. now. You said it first. <laughs> <laughs> um... And Branderson said, apparently GOG ended their Steam Connect a few months ago. Yeah. Oh, really? Um. All right. Marcus. Marcus. See, now you're offending Marcus, I think. No, uh, Marcus said, my southern accent is not nearly as thick as it used to be, but when I listen to myself on a recording, I sound like I'm straight out of Beverly Hillbillies or something. Mm. Okay, Z Prophet's dying of laughter, though. We're good. Oh, thanks, Joshua. Joshua said, Emily for president. I gotta wait a few more years. I'm only 27. <laughs> yeah. A couple more years. I think you'd be a good president. That would be terrible. Yeah, I know I'm, nothing about politics. Except for the crippling anxiety. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that I don't bad. like it when people are mad at me, so... Yeah. Half the country would hate me. <laughs> but thank you, Joshua. That's unavoidable, though. Yeah. Half the country hating you if you're president. Oh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But I see. I would. I would get strength from ha knowing half the people <laughs> in the country hated me. I. That would, I'd be like, oh ooh, Jesus. your tears taste like candy. You know that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's the most disturbing thing I think I've ever heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> Your tears, your tears taste like candy. Oh my god. 
Can we change the title of the stream to that? Yes. Anyway, Jackson said, I'm the anti-Luke to your Linus. You're the anti-Luke to my Linus? I guess. Why? What, what's, I don't watch their content. No, enough. Luke's the likable one. So if you're the anti-Luke... Oh man! But, but Did I, I think just get it, I, no, I think it's more like I'm the anti Linus and you're no, I'm Lu I'm no, it, we're basically it's the Linus and Luke show here. Okay. But but we're like married and they're not. <laughs> we're not married. We're not married, but we're like basically yeah. married at this point. Right. right. I might as well be. Um, um, I can't move the. I can't move. Matt says I pronounce. I would say Zemu as X Emu, but you can say it however you want. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I don't know. I don't. There's so much in this world of Gardner and computers and video games that I don't understand. So I'm just doing my best. Uh, Z Prophet said, "Politics suck. That's why I play games." <laughs> um, Marcus said, we were replaced in Iraq by Tennessee National Guard, and they were thick. One of my NCOs laughed and said, Adams, you can translate for us. That's awesome. Um, Ashland said, if either of you become president, can we ban Windows? I would ban Windows. I would definitely ban Windows. Mm. Peterson, I think I sound okay. But if you record my voice and play it back to me, it sounds like, Hey, y'all, watch this. <laughs> um, I, I can't control this with the yeah. controller here. I don't feel like I have an accent. I feel like... Everybody you, has an accent. Well, yeah, but I mean, but I don't feel like I have, like... Compared to the people around you, you don't. Yeah, like, do I... If, like... If you didn't know I was from New England, would you be able to tell by yeah. the way I talk exactly this way? I mean, I say on. I, I could tell, like, for, that you're from the Northeast, probably, but okay. not New England. Yeah. Anywhere but the South. Yeah. Um, Z Prophet, I do that and drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee, you know, because I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee. In fact, I had some earlier today. I want it right now. I know. <laughs> Freaking eight o'clock at night. <laughs> I literally can't control this game with this controller right now. I've tried. Oh, do I need to like? Um, <laughs> Marcus said he lives for the tears of people with accents. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Uh, Joshua man and said, "How do you know Linus and Luke aren't married?" <laughs> I mean, that's a fair question, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there an Yvonne? That's Linus's Yvonne, yeah. wife. Real wife. His, or is that his beard? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't sue me for slander. It was wow. a joke. Look at how slow anyway, this mouse input is. Jackson said, I mean, in terms of cancel Emily trying to cancel Gardner, not that either. Not that either. I don't like either of you. What? <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand what you just said, Jackson, but it's making me laugh. Um, oh, yeah. Marcus said that that's the issue they had, that, or that he had, that he couldn't get the controls to work properly. On this, so you're not alone. Yeah, I'm doing, like, mouse emulation at this point, which sucks. But I'm going to try it, because people kept kept wanting me to do it, so... That's, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. you know, to be honest, though, I have the same accent as Emily. I don't have the, the deep Boston accent. I can do it well, though. Uh, are you from Southie, Z Prophet? <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I feel like I should walk away <laughs> right now. I'm cracking myself up. This is pathetic. <laughs> Freaking Southie. 
What's that one uh, British accent that you mentioned and I had never heard of it? Scouse? Yeah. I think, is that what Jamie Tart speaks? I think. Jamie Tart. Surrounded by Pepe. <laughs> Manchester. I don't know if Manchester is the same as Scouse. Too bad our one British friend is gone. Um, Chris W. says, Yo, what about RE4 though? Resident Evil 4? Gardner yeah. doesn't like that game. I don't like um, horror games. I feel like I would actually like those games. If I, I was actually watching a video about characters from Resident Evil 4 like a couple months ago. Mm. Um, Jackson, I'm not trying to roast people is my point. Don't type and play Vampire Survivors, folks. <laughs> That's fair, Jackson. Um, Z Prophet's from Western Massachusetts, I'm not, not Southland. I think my best friend is in West, West Massachusetts. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, wait, no, maybe, no. She's in Eastern, I think. What? I thought she was in Western Massachusetts. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's Eastern. It's three hours away from us. That doesn't mean anything. So, right off the bat, uh, this game uh, has too much cutscene, not enough gameplay. I'll tell you that much. My best friend is in Middlesex County, Massachusetts. I don't know if that's east or west, but I did say it's north of Boston. I'm horrible with directions. No one gives a shit. Why am I talking about it? Um, Marcus Adams says, Resident Evil 4 isn't really a horror game, I don't think. Resident Evil 7, I think, was a much better classic Resident Evil horror game. Resident Evil 4 felt more like it was leaning towards being a looter shooter or something. At least the original I haven't played the remake. Um, <laughs> Joshua said Joust from 1972 is the best game. Uh, th them fighting words. I am over this. This is... I'm a rat in a freaking cage right now, guys. I hate this. I just want... I just want to play the game. I don't want to, like, stand around listening to fake Kmart Cave Johnson over here. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like, knockoff brand Cave oh Johnson. Oh, I just remembered, we met some people from Massachusetts that actually, like, people my age that had an accent. Who? It was Derek's friends. They were like, oh, get, get her a drink with a garnish in it. Oh. And then they kept calling him, like, Derek. Well, that's why I didn't really hang out with them. <laughs> you also didn't know them, and neither did I. <laughs> um. Oh, my God. I'll tell you a bit more. Uh, Marcus, I just wanted to let him know if he was avoiding it because of jump scares or something. It's not really that kind of RE game. He, he doesn't like horror or anything. He won't even let me listen to true crime stuff without headphones in I around can't, the house. I can't listen to true crime. It, it like, ruins my day. I can't, I can't, like, I, I can't, like, consume media with zombies in any dimension. Because it ruins my day. 
It yeah, looks, I just find zombies it, boring. It, zombies are, are both boring and disturbing, and I, I hate it. <laughs> um... <sighs> This is, this is, I, I'm in the, I feel like I'm in the octagon. I'm gonna, like, start fighting some guy here. Is this game an elevator simulator? <laughs> Hashtag roasted. Um, Z Prophet said, LMAO, he wants action, core. I want portals. Rip and tear. Um, Josh O'Mannon said, quote unquote, where'd you get those bruises? I like Jeff. Mm. Joust. Joust. From 1972. You mentioned it earlier. Z Prophet likes zombie games. Good for you. I hope you enjoy them. It's just not his thing, nor is it really mine. But I haven't, I haven't played that many horror games. I did try to play Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I mentioned that last week where I thought it was like going to be way different than it actually was and then I was like mad because I bought all the games in a bundle and only played like 10 minutes of the first one. I did watch a playthrough, like a let's play on YouTube um, of Among the Sleep and that looked pretty cool. Have you heard of that one? What is it? Among the Sleep. It's like your little baby. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. It was cool. The playthrough I watched was pretty cool. Um, Ashlyn said, I'd play an elevator simulator. Why are you complaining? <laughs> you know what? I'd rather play an escalator simulator. I love escalators. I love them so much. Okay. <laughs> what? Elevators freak me out. How, we've been playing. I I'm I've been playing this game for I've been playing this game for 15 minutes already. It feels like an eternity with all these cutscenes. I want nothing to do with this. <laughs> um, Z Prophet said, "Well, zombie games are really overly saturated." I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I don't. I as as far as like. Zombies go, or monsters go, I just find zombies kind of boring. But I like horror movies. Gardner won't watch them with me, though, so... Unless I watch them on my, like, computer or watch them if he's, like, gone. But if yeah, you're not Yeah, and then you have to house... call my sister and have her come over and have them, have them watch them with you. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't watch them by yourself. I know, I'm, like, bad. Like, if I watch anything kind of scary What's by myself after of dark. freaking yourself out? I don't understand it. Is, a, is, is this thing on? No. It's fine. No. I enjoy no. being scared no. unless I'm home no. alone. Yeah, I'm so sorry, astronauts, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot okay. Nothing's different. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed. Oh, Just, you made Dave uh, feel yeah, bad. He said oh, yeah. sorry. But what? Picking on the game. I, I hope you know I'm, like, joking around. Um, Marcus said, Zombie is a cool zombie game, but I've never finished it because the permadeath character swapping pisses me off. Is that, like, uh, what was that game, like, always remember your joy? What was that one? We Happy Few was not like it. Like, if you died, like... Yeah. You were just done with that character or something. I feel like that would annoy me because I'm just like bad at games and I'd be like, shit, I messed that up. And then, oh, that character's dead. Um. Dave said, oh, okay, I do now, thanks. I do now what? No, you're joking yeah. about being mad. No. I, like, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I am bored right now. <laughs> But I'm, like, not angry about but it. But he appreciates the recommendation. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I, I, we're finally getting somewhere so we can actually play. Mm. Yeah, so. Ashland said, said a little while ago, you're almost done with the cutscene. Yeah. It's okay, Dave. I, I pour my heart out to him all the time, and he doesn't care about anything I love, so... Are you trying to get me canceled again? <laughs> I mean, you just try to show him, like, one of your favorite Danny McBride shows. 
And he and just then, and bitches and moans the whole valid time. About <laughs> just says, oh, this is a bad show, even though you love it. I love Vice Principals. Gardner does not. <laughs> Did I say it was a bad show? I had you I complained had, about I had it the whole entire it. time. You were like, yeah. I don't like this show. Like I, after but did every I say, single but episode. Critically, did I say that it, I hate? Did I say that it was a bad show? You said you liked the end of it, which I told you from the beginning. You're gonna like season two a lot better. Yeah. And to just be patient, but. What the frick is going on? <laughs> um. The prophet said portal can pog. Um, ooh, Jackson, I used to listen to Welcome to Night Vale in college while I was developing my photos in the dark room at night. Yikes. I never listened to that, but I heard that was pretty spooky. Yeah. That's like a... It's kind of more like a radio play, right? But it's like a podcast. Yeah. I feel... That's like... I want to write something like that. I should do that. Me too. That'd be fun. Because we could do it really easily. Yeah, we could produce it. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson, in hindsight, maybe that explains why we watch so many horror movies slash series here. Yeah. I, I've watched this thing on... Like, there, there's so many horror movies that I, like, actually haven't seen, but, like, I know about them. Like, I feel like I've seen them without seeing them. And, like, I was watching this thing, I found it in college, and then I, like, rewatched it a couple weeks ago, where it's, like, the Bravo, like, hundred, like, scariest movie moments special. It's on YouTube. It's, like, three hours long, but it's pretty fun. Am I only shooting orange portals? What in the heck is going on? Anyway. Oh, my God. This is nuts. Ooh. Jackson, Emily, listen to the Magnus archives. I will write that down. Thank you for the recommendation. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, going back to zombies, I actually, like, the most I've enjoyed zombies was, uh, when I got really into running a couple of years ago, uh, I used to listen to this app that was called, uh, Zombies Run, and it was, like, a story in your head where, like, you have to, like, run and get supplies and you have to, like, you get chased by zombies or whatever. It was actually pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it was an interesting story. But then I stopped finding running fun. <laughs> and mm -hmm. still haven't found it fun. Um, Marcus, I found a website where you can pay for downloads of old school radio shows. And I bought a bunch of old horror radio shows from, like, the mid-20th century. That sounds awesome, Marcus. Um... As a media and communications uh, bachelor's holder, uh, in a lot of my media classes, we talked about the fucking War of the Worlds thing, where, ooh, everyone thought it was so scary that they thought it was real and incited panic, except I heard that's actually false. Mm -hmm. That it was, like, one town, like, a couple people thought it was real or something like that, like... It's not as overblown as it was. Um, Ashlyn said, did you just mute Cave Johnson? Uh, no, I muted, like, the the uh, Eastern European personality core. Because I was, I couldn't, I couldn't concentrate on what Emily was saying. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I don't, I don't want to listen to <laughs> this fake freaking... Stephen Merchant ripoff. I I don't care what these guys have to say of this. Dave, but I, don't, I literally don't know where to go. Thank you for here. recommending the game. <laughs> just know that he's not complaining about you. And no, your choices. I appreciate people giving he's, us like uh, get, telling us uh, what games we can play. He's the most particular judgmental person I am, I've I am ever met. I am extremely <laughs> judgmental, uh, and. Uh, and it's not a reflection on you or or the things you recommend. Yes. I am just a jerk, right, mm -hmm. honey? We yep. were at we were out at uh, the furniture. Uh, not the furniture. We were out at the uh, 
at the grocery store the other day. Oh, and I know uh, you're gonna tell. And we were out at the grocery store, and there was like a, like a can of uh, like a jar of seasoning, and it was like it was like it was like jerk seasoning, <laughs> and she goes, Gardner, it's you. I just pointed at the jerk seasoning. <laughs> It was really funny. I thought it was super hilarious. Thank you. Oh. And it wasn't even like I was doing anything. She just like, she just saw that and was like, honey, it's you. And I was like, what are you, what are you attacking me for? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> um, yeah, no, Z Prophet, um. It's called Zombies Run, and it's, like, unfortunately, it's, like, after the first, like, season of the, like, app or whatever, like, you you have to, like, pay for it, which is probably part of why I, like, stopped running. <laughs> um, but it is pretty cool. I think I did actually pay for it for a while, and then it was, like, I was just kind of over it, but highly recommend. Um... Praderson said, overpaid for a Steam key for Unreal Tournament 2004, and it turned out to be a key for Unreal Everything, so that took some salt out of the wound. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Did you, like, just pay for it? Uh, why am I not solving puzzles? That's what I want to know. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> um. What was it? Uh, Dave Holtzman said, like hackers, I don't play well with others all the time either. I don't. I don't play well with anybody. I play well with Emily, I guess. When I'm not being a jerk. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> you're still jerk seasoning. <laughs> I totally forgot that happened. I'm glad you forgot. I will never forget. <laughs> but for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. Jackson said the real puzzle to solve is where is the puzzle. Yeah. Where is Friar Jack? Preeter's in said yup, so I think they just bought that key. Well that's cool. Uh, I'm happy for you. I had a, uh, I had a Rocket League key for Steam, and I gave it to her, and I don't think she's played it. Nope. I probably could have sold that Steam key for, like, probably. 70 bucks. I don't even know what Rocket League is, I just know the name. It's a, it's a game. Oh, thank you. Oops. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? Look at that. What is going on? Look at this. Whoa. Praetors. Do you see that? Look. The lines? Yeah. Cool. What is it? Um. Oh, right. look at what it is. There's particle effects going on in the gun, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And when I'm switching locations, they're like flying from where they were to where the gun is now through, through the portal. Mm -hmm. Be more excited. Praetors and said, actually overpaid for an Unreal Tournament 99 key that I don't need and don't know what will include now. Doubt I can get a refund for that one. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, <laughs> Ashlyn said, as a Mel speedrunner, this hurts to watch, honestly. I Dude, love it. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, Marcus says, soccer with cars. Is that this game? Or... Does this look like well, soccer? Oh, Rocket League. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah, you probably could have sold your Rocket League key because I don't know if I'm going to play it. 
Um, I, I, I'll be right Was back. there a Rocket League game? I mean, movie? No. Okay. Prangers in what Raul Julia movie are you talking about? I'm curious. Hold on. Hold on what? I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Gardner's got a piddle. He's not prepared like me who peed before the stream. Um, yes, thank you, Prater Zinn. Uh, it took me a second to figure out about Rocket League. Um, when I hear the name Rocket League, it just makes me think of Team Rocket from Pokemon. <laughs> uh, how we doing, guys? All right, bye, Z Prophet. Have a good freaking night down in Mass. Thanks for joining us. It was really fun uh, to talk to you. I'm glad you <laughs> you showed up. Dude, I'm sorry about the dead air. I like am so bad at small talk. Marcus caught it from the kids. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, the but for me it was Tuesdays from Street Fighter. Okay, um, I see. Uh, I I only really know that quote from TV tropes. <laughs> so, my apologies for being a. Uh, for being a, what's the word? An ignorant swine. Um. Yeah, thank you, Marcus. I'm so bad at small talk. Like, I'm like one of the most awkward people I know. Um. Oh, Dave, I don't know what you're talking about, but Gardner might. He's, he's coming. He's on his way. What? You're coming back. Saving the day. I'm back. Bad at small talk. I think I think Gardner just died, you guys. <laughs> that scared you. No, it just jumped me. Oh. Oh no. Marcus thinks the chat overlay in the stream has frozen. Oh, it does that. Unfortunately. I I can't fix it. I'm sorry. Guys, I'm 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 sorry. I'm done with this game. Wait. But oh, oh okay. Wait. Yeah, never mind. What? Uh, nothing. I was confused cuz I was like, "Oh, we're watching the video to keep track of the comments, but we can see that chat stream and then I remembered that there that's up in the video too." Yeah. Oh, God. Man, I'm, I'm, all all two of my brain cells are firing tonight. <laughs> Holy cow. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm just going to be done with this. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm sorry. I know that there's like a thriving yeah. Mel speedrunning community, but... Play, play something different. What do you want me to play? I don't know. What 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 are the options? I don't remember if anyone recommended anything else. Um, but you could oh. play. You could play. You could do Spelunky. That's easy. You like Spelunky? I do. This is one of my favorite games. All right. 
I've never played it, but it's a fun game to say. Oh, Ashlyn said, uh, try Portal Reloaded. Someone recommended Burnout. That's true. Um, I do have Burnout. Yeah. We're going to do this, and then we'll do Burnout. I'm only going to do, like, one round of this. Mm-hmm. Because I'm probably going to die because I'm on stream. I'm going <laughs> to die in, like, the first world. Um. There's nothing over there. Wow, this game looks really nice on this TV. It does look pretty good. It's um, nice and vibrant. Marcus said, if you love cutscenes and long periods of slow-paced gameplay, you should play Death Stranding. You'll just adore it. Dude, I... So, who was it? Oh, was it Steve we were talking yeah. to about that game? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. No. Is it, isn't it like it's the mailman or something? Yeah, he, it's Delivery Boy in the Apocalypse. Right. Uh, no thanks. It's... I like I like games like this where it's instant action. You don't, you don't, like, screw around. You know what I appreciate about, about Spelunky? Is, like, there's, like, an opening title sequence, right? Guess what? You can push the X button to not only skip the opening title sequence, okay? Like, there, there's, like, an attract mode, like, a, a normal arcade game. And then there's, like, buh, da, 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 with the title. And then you hit X, and you go into the menu, and you pick what kind of game you want to play. And then you pick your character, and then he crawls down a freaking rope. And then you're in the main area, and you go in and join the thing. Or, while it's starting the, the opening sequence, you can just push X, and it takes you right into the gameplay. You don't frick around with any bull crap. I, ooh, guys, I am so impatient. I, like, the other night, I was, are you nodding your head yes? Yeah, yeah you're I'm, impatient. I'm mm -hmm. so impatient when it comes to this kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, I have no patience Wait. for cutscenes and, and like. God forbid you're in a car with him and there's a school bus in front of you <laughs> dropping off children <laughs> safely at their houses. <laughs> My God. I have no patience. None. I was Zero. out with your mom and we got stuck behind a bus and you know what she said? She said, oh, I don't mind waiting. Yeah, well, that's my mom. <laughs> it's not like we're related or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marcus said, I'm a sucker for story. Me too. Nah. Uh, I love the Elder Scrolls and even bought physical copies of the in-game books. Nice, Marcus. I, I have not really played... I've, I've got Skyrim on Steam and my brother bought it for me on Switch and I've yet to play it, but I feel like I would really like it. So I will play it at some point. Uh, I have no patience. But yeah, I, I, like, I like story. That's why I like Dragon Age. I have not bought any of the, the books from See, the games, though. See, when I was a kid... Like, and, and a young adult, I was like, I like story in video games, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Bioshock, I was like, oh yeah, Bioshock's awesome. Uh, you know, uh, freaking Mass Effect, oh, Mass Effect's awesome. But it was just because I was a pretentious teenager. I didn't actually like it. I just thought I should. And as I've grown up, I'm like, I have no freaking patience for any of this. I don't want a story. I just want to play a game. I if I wanted to have a story, I'd watch TV or watch a movie. I I, I don't care about stories in games. Like, I mean, Bioshock Infinite has a pretty cool story, but I literally don't think I have the patience today to sit through it. Like, I think even uh, I just beat uh, Doom Eternal, and I think that even even like the limited cutscenes. And the, the, the like, non-invasive, like, narrative sequences were too much for me. I just, I, I wanted to skip through all of it. I want them to stop talking and I just want to play a game. Like, <laughs> I, I don't care. Jesus. And then, and then you get, like, ludonarrative dissonance. Do you know what that is? No. So, there's, there's the narrative and then there's the ludonarrative, right? The ludonarrative is is the story that the player tells but during in, in gameplay, mm -hmm. right? So like, for example, it you know, let's say that there's cutscenes in in Spelunky, right? The cutscenes are are telling a story about how you're trying to save the damsel, right? Mm -hmm. But what happens 
when the player, you know, is being told that there's a story that he should be playing, and then what the player actually does when he finds the damsel every time and whips her until she dies. That's the di that's what they call ludo narrative dissonance. So your ludo narrative is the story you're telling by the gameplay you're engaging in, mm -hmm. right? And so ludo narrative dissonance is like when there's a dissonance between what the game developers are trying to cram down your throat and uh, and what you're actually doing as a player in the game. And it's like there there I don't believe there's a way to reconcile that uh, unless you're playing like an actual D and D campaign. And so. Uh, like a real campaign. So I'm not, I just don't have any patience for that. Marcus said, the lore, especially the religion in the Elder Scrolls universe, can get really complex. It kind of seems like someone, somebody got high on mushrooms and read Tolkien or something. So, Marcus, I'm just curious, and I'm sure the answer is no, but having never played any of the other Elder Scrolls games, Will I be lost playing Skyrim? No. Thank you. I was asking Marcus, though. Um, yeah, though, I actually, I played Dragon Age out of order. Now who's a jerk? <laughs> I don't see any seasoning out here. No. <laughs> um, but, uh, I played, I played Dragon Age, like, I played the first one, and then the third one, and then I played the second one. And I wasn't really lost, even though... The second one did play a big part in the third game. Anyway. Oh, thanks, Marcus. The stories are independent of one another. Um, Dave said, I was gaming on the Amiga 500 as a kid. I also watched tons of game demos and animations. Guess that was big for Smog's players. Smog's? Or Amiga players, I'm guessing. I'm assuming it's autocorrect again. Oh. Dude, the Amiga was cool. I never had mm. one, but, um... Uh, Senate Dabernathy says, what's up? Not much. What's up with you, Senator? <laughs> what's good, Senator Rigby? Jackson said, the oh sun and God. stars in the Elder Scrolls are just holes in the skies where the... Daedria just noped the hell out of reality. I get that reference. Do you? No. That's why I just shook my head silently for comedic effect. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill him. Ah! I walked right into that. Uh, burnout? Yeah, we're going to do burnout. That's right. I don't want to play this again. Which burnout? I have burnout paradise, but I don't. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if it's set up. Because I had to do some stupid crap, and then I had to. I don't know if it's gonna work. Cross your fingers, anyone who wanted to watch burnout. Did you want to watch burnout? I don't know. I'm just trying to appease our. Our guests tonight. Nice. Senate Dabernathy's just ripping fat dabs tonight and watching YouTube. <laughs> that sounds like a good night, my friend. Enjoy yourself. Be responsible. Um, Marcus says, if you ever want to get an idea of what kind of lore you can get into in Elder Scrolls, look up the YouTuber Fudge Muppet. He has a lot of good videos on the subject. Thank you. I will Fudge Muppet sounds dirty. <laughs> what? what are you looking at me like that for? What if Fozzie Bear just likes to, like, bake things? Fudge Muppet? D desserts. Oh. Rich desserts. What if that's all that means? Now I want one of the mug cakes. We should definitely have it. We've been We've been real into mug cakes lately. Guys, mug cakes are amazing. <laughs> I bought a mm -hmm. 24 pack of mug cakes. Mm -hmm. It was like 20 bucks. Dude, how many? Tell everyone how many Red Lobster biscuits you bought. Oh, I bought like a 20. I, I bought like a 48 pack of Red Lobster 
<laughs> uh, make it cheddar home. Bis- cheddar Bay biscuits. The, the make it home ones. And I made some today. They came in the mail and I freaking made a whole thing and we ate a whole bunch of them, didn't we? Yeah, and your mom had one too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, they're really our, good. We have one whole cabinet in the kitchen that's just filled with red lobster biscuits. They're so good. They you are can't really have good. enough. Um. <laughs> uh, Marcus said, R-O-F-L. I knew that comment was coming after I sent the message. LOL. Um, Ashlyn says, Burnout Paradise is so good. It's one of my favorite mm-hmm. games ever made. Yeah. Well, if this doesn't work, according to Dave, uh, it was Burnout Revenge that was mentioned. Burnout Revenge. Do you have that? No. Revenge. I don't believe so. Guys, look at this. This is weird. Do you see this? Marcus said, man, what I wouldn't give for a red lobster somewhere within 100 miles of me. Now I want their cheddar biscuits. Uh-huh. Well, my friend, you can just buy them on Amazon like Gardner did if you want. They're so good. <laughs> Or just come over to our house. We've got plenty. <laughs> Don't invite strangers over again. <laughs> when did I do it the first time? I'm just I know you are. I know. Freaking jerk. This is why. This is why you're jerk seasoning. Freaking uh, jerk chicken over here. Uh, is this gonna work? I've never eaten at a Red Lobster. Did you no, know? I've never. Eaten. I don't think there's one in Maine. No. I, I hear they don't. There might be one in Portland. Maybe, but. yeah. I hear they don't use Maine lobster, therefore. What's the point? Right. I'm not a big uh, seafood guy. No. I don't know if this is going to work. I was. I have issues every time I try and watch this. I'm not uh, huge on seafood either. But I like lobster. I like clams. I'm going to try doing one thing. Steamed clams, fried clams. How about steamed hams? <laughs> oh, I made you steamed hams. <laughs> oh, man, I remember when that was all over YouTube or whatever, and people were, like, doing all those weird edits to steamed hams. They still do. Um, tech zone, or zone, tech zone, I have the recipe to make the red lobster biscuits incredible. We're too lazy to figure that out. We just have to have the pre-mixed packets. Mm. Yeah, it was a... Um, Ooh, pardon me, it wasn't too expensive to buy all those red lobster boxes. Good, that makes me feel better about it. <laughs> Praderson says, I feel weird because I'm not a huge fan of the red lobster biscuits. Give me buttered rolls any day. I like those too. I like buttered too. rolls, yeah. Your mom made some really good like yeast rolls my on mom, Thanksgiving. My mom makes the best yeast rolls. They were really They're good. so good. The word yeast makes me want to like die a little. Yeast! But it's hard to say for me. Is yeast. it hard for you to say yeast? yeast? Yeast. By the way, when I was still playing Wordle, yeast was one of my like go-to starting first, words. Yeah, starting words. If anyone, I haven't played starting Wordle in forever. Wordle. If anyone wants to steal that one from me, it's got a lot of vowels. This isn't working, guys. Um. I'm sorry. Jackson says, "Uh, the Aurora Borealis." What about it? I don't remember. It's not working, sorry, guys. Sorry, Jackson, I don't get sorry. what you're referring to. We can't play Burnout. Oh, no. And uh, you know what we could do is play Burnout Takedown for PSP. <laughs> and I think I don't think this works uh, for Xbox. We'll try it, though. If it. Oh, Marcus is wondering if, if it's going on now, the Aurora Borealis. Is it going on? Uh, Look out the window. It's not happening in Maine. <laughs> it's not happening here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Praterson said, the one time I tried lobster, it just didn't taste like anything. It only tasted like what I dipped it in. But that was a red lobster, so... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, this isn't gonna work oh, oh, Jackson said it was a callback to steamed hams. I'm so sorry. What was it? Aurora Borealis. Oh, right, right. 
Aurora Borealis. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I... Yeah. Aurora Borealis out there? Yeah. Praetors, and hopefully, if you're not opposed to lobster in the future, get get a main lobster roll. <coughs> That's the, that's my favorite way to eat lobster. Have you ever had a lobster roll? Yep. Mm. The best. Oh no! It's not my favorite, but... What happened? I don't know! Oh my god, technical difficulties. Again. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah, there's a power button down there. Oh, thank you. What are you doing? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Um, Senate Dabernathy likes crab. I don't think I've ever had crab. I've had, like, imitation crab dip. But I've never had, like, <laughs> crab. And sh- crab I've never had dip? crabs either. I'm gonna do a, that's what I'm you're giggling a, about. I'm, I'm gonna do a... No. Crag crab dip? Crag dip? Is that how I said it? You said crag dip. I said crag. Crag dip? Crab dip. Crag dip? And if I said crag dip, I meant to say crab dip. I apologize. <laughs> Jesus Christ. King of enunciation over here. <laughs> um, I, I'm good at enunciating words. Ashlyn said if you have it, flat out too is a good game. I don't have flat out too. We're going to play this PSP game here. Wait a minute. PSP. I almost just said challenge everything, but that's EA games. Uh, Yeah. I'm sorry. But this is an EA game. Is it? Yep. EA Emily Awesome. Aurora (laughs) Borealis. Emily Aurora Borealis. Emily... Uh, I can't think of any words to start with A anymore. Aardvark. Emily... A-A-R-D. B-A-R-K. Yes. I don't know why I just remembered, like, this one time A-A-R-D. when my best friend A-A-R-D. and I were... A-A-R-K. We were in AP US History, and we were, like, working on this paper about, like the 60s in American culture and like the first question was about John F. Kennedy's assassination and my best friend and I could not get past reading the word assassination because it's ass-ass-nation because <laughs> <laughs> we were like 16 year old girls <laughs> so stupid uh, too much ass am I right fellas yeah Marcus Adams, I still like the first two Need for Speed Underground games. I usually play the GameCube version since that's the one I had as a kid. Aww. You know what game I played religiously on uh, on on my GameCube was um, there we go. Uh, what game I took I played religiously was Fight Night and Fight Night Round Two. Oh boy, Boxing Simulation, honey. Ooh, that mm. was so much fun. You know what I really want to play? What? Is, uh, Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to play that. I will play the fuck out of that on a stream. That game is my shit. And I want to beat it once and for all. <gasps> Birdsy! Oh Birdsy! Hello! Thank you for coming. I've missed you so much. How is it make going, everybody friend? everybody else in the chat feel bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. No, we're friends with Bernsey. Yeah. We like, Bernsey's a cool dude. Bernsey's a cool dude. And if the rest I'm... of you stick around as much as Bernsey has, yeah. we'll be friends with you, too. Yes. No, I'm excited about everyone. I just, it's been a minute <laughs> since we've seen Bernsey. No one feel left out, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's such a douche. Jerk. Jerk. Jerk, jerk chicken over here. Jerk, jerk chicken. <laughs> pulled, pulled chicken jerk season. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you put up with me, dude? Good question. Um, Ashlyn says that I should get the ROM for Super Mario Kaizo Edition. I will enjoy not having fun anymore. Well, she's talking about uh, 
Paper Mario. Mario mm. Kaizo is a whole other beast. Is it? Yeah. I've Mario... never heard of Mario Kaizo. It's, it's a ROM hack made by the community to be as difficult as physically possible. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bernsey said, yes, I am the favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, boy. I'll take, uh, sit you on my lap and tell you a story of your pa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Eco Terrace, late to PC gaming, enjoying Portal and Orange Box for the first time on Steam Deck. Nice. I win. Marcus said she needs some of that jerk seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some vitamin G. Vitamin J. Stop! <laughs> Gurk. Gurk. Well, I'm, I'm the jerk. G. <laughs> Gurk. <laughs> uh oh guys this has happened once before and it ends in her her crying from <laughs> laughing too hard so stupid <laughs> 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 uh, Gurk. She needs some vitamin G because I'm Gardner. <laughs> I can't believe you thought that I thought it started with a G. You think I'm dumb? Next time we're gonna. Next time we pick up my niece from the freaking kindergarten, she's gonna point at one of the uh, one of the thumb paintings and be like, "Did you draw that, you idiot?" You freaking child! <laughs> I got her snorting now, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry, guys. What? How did that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gurk. Okay, Bernsey. I'm gonna gurk you. I'm <laughs> gross. <laughs> I've been good. How have you been, Gardner? It's been a minute since we've chatted with Bernsey. I've been freaking great. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no complaints here, Bernsey. How have you been? We've missed you. Life is dandy. But it's better now that you're here. <laughs> there we go. That was a pol police brutality event. I had to knock him off the road. Mm. Palm Beach Marina. Let's do this one. Road mm. rage. Yeah, Bernsey, I'm sorry Ooh, we stopped rage. doing our streams on the other channel that is no longer... The live streaming channel. It was. It just we're took just, up way too much time. And we're just lazy. Well, I have a lot of work to do too. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm, Bernsey, I've been enjoying fully legal Switch games on my super legal and real Switch. Um. Hey, if it plays Switch games, it's a real Switch in my yeah. opinion. Les Saint says, "What game?" It's what is it? What game are you playing? This is called Burnout Takedown for the PSP. Oh, you know what we could have played is uh, Rock Band Unplugged. Can we please? Why? Why did that make you laugh so hard? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, we can turn this shit off. Let's play rock band unplug. Oh wait, no, this is not like copyrighted music. Yeah, that's why it was. I, that's why I thought it was a funny joke. I don't know why you thought it was so funny if you didn't get that immediately. <laughs> I just think the whole concept of your rock band unplug game is funny. Why? Just because it's not like actually playing the instruments. Well, I, I mean, know, it's not playing any instruments. It's like it's all fake. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Ashlyn, you use Jellyfin too? Jellyfin! You said that like Homestar Runner. I said it like Stiefel! Stiefel. I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna. Uh, then we're gonna do, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Bernsey says he's been playing Spirit of the North in the first tree. I don't know what that is. I don't know either, but I'm gonna look it up because it sounds cool. See, I like PlayStation portable games. You know? PSP. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye, Jackson. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thanks, Jackson. Nice to officially meet you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Bernsey Ooh. says there's a theme there. Ashlyn says, I'm allergic to Plex and most proprietary software, unless it's for games. That's pretty cool, Ashlyn. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of proprietary stuff, but sometimes you, I just don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Which sucks. Yeah. So, Brunzi, oh you like games about foxes, I see. It's two different games. I see. Interesting. Uh, Marcus says, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit for the PS1 was fun because the cops would yell at you and scream and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, Alright, I think I'm done. Okay. Uh, anytime I think of the PS1, like the only game I think I ever saw anyone play, and it might have even been the PS2, I don't know, but my stepbrother had the like Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase game. I never played it, but I used to watch him play it all the time. Yeah. I wonder if this will play. I had trouble the last time I tried to play it. Oh, nice, Bernsey. Bernsey likes games about foxes because it's a spiritual thing. Oh. Well, our Praderson said, Jellyfin is great. I stood it up next to Plex to compare, and I think I like Jellyfin better. <laughs> Jellyfin is better in a lot of ways. The only thing I... L oh, hey, cool. This is a ripped... <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't realize this was a ripped ISO. Or a cracked ISO, or whatever they call it. I don't know if it's going to work. So watch. is this illegal? Yeah, I thought that I, like, burned it, or ripped it from one of my CDs. Because I have, I own the game on CD. I do. What are you laughing at? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bernsey wants to know if you've been following retro handhelds. He wants the new Retroid Pocket Flip. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bernsey. <laughs> I have not been following it. Ape Escape. This game is awesome, but it says that the controller isn't set up. Oh, my controller died. Do you need to plug it in? Yeah. Ooh, another super chat. Thanks, Brian Doe. Uh... He says, check out the indie game, Give Me Toilet Paper. Super Chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Super Chats are fun. Yeah. They're just, like, fun. Super Chat. Super Chat. Well, we'll check it out after this game, Brian. I think you promise. I love the music in this game, too. Listen to the music. Oh, I 
listen to the music. Spike, can you hear me? Something awful has happened. You have slipped in time with the accident. Wow. Earlier. You will soon arrive in the prehistoric. Why does his ear mustache look like that when he talks? I also have slipped in time. I didn't put in that much effort. Just talk. Spike, we need your assistance. We, we need your... Give, it, give us the serum spike. <laughs> oh, shit, this is close. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, Praters in said, I use the LSIO jellyfin container as well. Okay. That's the Linux server uh, jellyfin. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Um, I think that's what I use too. Um, oh, what the heck is going on, dude? Mm. Uh, Brinzy said I missed out on loads of PlayStation and Sega games as a kid. Oh. Um, Brian said it's a Switch game. The give me toilet paper. It's a Switch game and it's awesome and weird all at the same time. You actually need a roll of toilet paper and a piece of card for it to play the game. Interesting. Toggle analog. Oh, it's not working. What's the question? Oh, he's just explaining the toilet paper game. Oh. Hey, have you guys ever, like, taken a selfie of yourself through a toilet paper roll? It makes it makes your face look like the moon. Can you take a selfie of anyone else but yourself? I mean, we gotta leave that question to the philosophers. <laughs> um... Brindsay said, hold up, you can use a controller to use a cursor? Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. You didn't know that, Burnsy? If that is your real name? I think we learned his real name, but I don't remember it. <laughs> We're so bad. It's been a while. Uh, so, yes, I, I have the trackpad here on the DualSense controller. And so you can configure the left and the right side. To function differently. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. Um, but I can't seem to control the game. Even though it's my favorite game ever made. Not really. What? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Burnsy McBurn's face is clearly his real name. <laughs> Love it. I'm tired. I'm ready to be done. I'm sorry, well, guys. We've been doing this for a couple hours. Yeah. Really? How many hours? I don't know. Does it say? Well, I don't know. This got paused for a while. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know how long it's been going. You can't really tell, right? Uh, Started no. streaming two hours ago, it says. Oh. Oh, yeah, that says two hours and 18 minutes. Yeah. I can read that from here. Aren't you impressed? I no. can read that from here. All right. I don't know where you're reading it. Oh, see where it says YouTube Studio and then it says live right next to the live. Oh, um, yeah, video. I can't read that. I thought it was just words. <laughs> well, it's numbers. I, yeah, well, I know that now <laughs> because you told me. Hey, hey, wait. I'm going to play this a little bit mm -hmm. because I like this game a lot. Okay. This is, wait. This is a good game. I got to remember the controls. Mm. Yeah, Burnsy, the gamer energy is pretty low. Yeah, I, I've i never been one for gamer energy. Oh. Praterson says that's oddly specific, Gardner. What is? I don't know. The numbers? Or is it? The two hours and 18 minutes? Probably. Got him. 
it feels like it's been longer, but maybe it's just because we've played like 20 different games. Yeah, we've played uh, a lot. Come on, there we go. I got him. I, I don't remember all the controls. <laughs> Marcus says you need to get G Fuel to sponsor your live streams, that way you can stream all day long. Yeah, I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like people who like want to live stream are like crazy. Like I'm not not want to I I mean like want to live stream all day. Like, I don't have the energy or capacity or desire to do any of that. Mm. Like, doing it for like an hour is exhausting to me. Well, you have like the lowest social battery out of anyone that I know. Yeah, I, I, it's true. I'm like a horribly, like, introverted person. <laughs> Aww. Brian, I'm not falling for it. What is it? Read, read Brian, Brian Doe's. Wait, I'm trying to catch a monkey, hold on. Oh my god. Got him. Well done. Wait, what's ICUP? <laughs> Bernsey said, sounds like G-Man needs a gamer hug. A gamer hug? With a bunch of winky faces. Um, Ashlyn said, gotta get that Raid Shadow Legends sponsor, yeah. As the person Ugh. in charge of his sponsorships, <laughs> it, I think you told me that that was, like, one of the three things you're like, I will never do a sponsorship. I, I won't do a sponsorship for a mobile game, flat out. Uh, but Raid, Raid Shadow Legends, maybe. I might make an exception. Mm -hmm. I won't do World, uh, War Thunder, either. I don't like that. Never do it. Um, Marcus says, the only thing I really live stream is Beat Saber. Nobody watches, really. I just like to use it for exercise, and I stream it just for the sake of it for a couple of friends and family members. Um. Oh, Praterson said that their oddly specific comment was about taking a selfie through a toilet paper roll. Well, don't knock it till you try it. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, but no, Marcus, I've been, like, meaning to be, like... I mean, I've, like, mentioned it a few times, but not in, like, a, hey, help me do this. But I do want to try to play Beat Saber for a little extra exercise. Exercise? It does seem like a really good workout. It is. I, I sweat my butt off when I do it. You sweat just sitting down sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No. <laughs> Just a jerk. Just jerk, jerk seasoning jerk, over here. Jerks are hot. Physically. <laughs> um, no, that sounds awesome, Marcus. I'm, I would watch your streams if I knew they were happening. <sighs> It's so weird because, like, for those who weren't here in the beginning where to read your comments on the laptop, like, we have just had to, like, actually be watching the stream in front of us. And, like, it's got the, like, closed captions coming up, so it's, like, really weird, like, seeing uh, my own words coming up on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I love this game, by the way. Mm. Have I mentioned that I love this game? It's got you got a freaking yeah. lightsaber. Mm. Um. Mm. Uh, Marcus says it can be really good exercise, and it motivates you to move because the longer swipes you take, the more points you get. So you could just twitch your wrists, but you'd get a lower score. That's probably what I would have done, as like 
a chubby 12 year old I'll just be like oh I'll just do the minimal exercise um Bernsey says this game is actually very on my radar because it looks fun yeah this this game is uh it's it's a PS1 game um and it, it's it's super fun it's really really clever uh, you have to catch monkeys <laughs> it's great mm -hmm. it's great I like it uh, I'm a big PS1 fan I had a PS1 growing up yeah. um, one uh, <laughs> uh, one uh, Shish Squared says, do they have RTX for this game? No. No. Yeah. Marcus says there's a mini game of this in Metal Gear Solid 3 on the PS2. There's a what? A mini game of this. Oh, yeah. I think that's fun when other games do that. Uh, I was real big on um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance on the Wii, and they had like a mini game where you could play. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's. Oh my god, why can't I think of it? It's a game with all the colored blocks and you bump the like ball up to, what is it like I keep thinking white up breakout breakout um you can do that and then there is that uh, pitfall I think that's what it's called but it was cool um the one thing about this game <clears throat> is the camera controls are not great mm -hmm. uh Ashlyn says the graphics style reminds me of Super Mario 64. I this came out like right soon after Super Mario 64. Mm-hmm. Um Bernsey was a Nintendo dude. Nintendo. Nintendo. Um Tanner Peace is stuck in Diablo Q right now. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry you're stuck in the queue. Yeah. Senate Dabernathy, I just love that username. It says Spyro the Dragon was my shit growing up. Dude, Spyro, yes! Um, Did you ever play Spyro, honey? Uh, I, yeah, I had a friend. I had a friend who had it and would let me play when I went over to her house. Nice. Um, but never, like, I wouldn't. I didn't really know how to play. I was just kind of trying to figure it out. Yeah. Um. Burnsy. Hey, have you two watched the latest Star Trek Picard? I just watched it. You, you are not watching that, right? I have not started watching it. Um, but you just finished uh, Strange New Worlds. I did. And you liked and that, that a lot. That was really good. I don't know where to go or what to do. <laughs> Oh, there's our robot. Mark. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> we we got like a an off brand Roomba. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want a Roomba because it's owned by Amazon and they are evil. Right. So what what do, what do we have? It's like Robo Rock or something. Yeah. It's adorable. And it's, it's connected to the uh, Wi-Fi that has no internet. So I can, it can only control, it can only be controlled from our home assistant server. It's really cute. It makes me feel maternal towards it. Um, Tanner P remembers playing this on a demo disc when they were a kid. Yes! Was it the uh, PlayStation, was it the uh, Pizza Hut demo disc? Because that's the one I played this on. Dude, I had so much fun with that Pizza Hut demo disc. Because I only had, like, four games for the PlayStation for a long time. I had, um, I don't know where I got it, but I had Silent Bomber. 
I had a game called Starwinder, which was like racing in outer space. And then I had a game called... I had a Bugs Life game. Nice. Oh, this mm. freaking monkey. Brinzi says robot vacuums are really interesting. Lots of cool tech. Yeah. It is, it is interesting to watch it go. Got him. I like to think of it as my first child. <laughs> Um, Marcus says, he sounds like me. My mom assumed that since I like tech, that I'd like an Echo Dot, so she got me one for Christmas. It was kind of awkward to have to tell her thanks, but no thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, one of my friends, one of my high school friends, uh, at that wedding we went to, mm -hmm. she was saying that, like, her husband's like super anti like Amazon and that they like got like a huge Amazon gift card for Christmas or something and like mm. just had to kind of like take it on the chin. <laughs> there was a, I'm not even kidding, like from 2019 to 2023 uh, maybe, mm. I don't think I used Amazon more than like three times. Mm. But because of circumstances, I've switched. I've used Amazon a lot more recently, mm -hmm. unfortunately. I know. It is convenient. Um, Tanner said demo discs were a poor kid's jam. I think it was the Pizza Hut one. Yeah. I feel like I had a demo disc or something. I don't know if it was from Pizza Hut, but it was like a Scooby-Doo game. Yeah. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut demo disc. I had two of them. They were awesome. And fun fact, um, uh, what's his name? Reggie fils who was the president of Nintendo of America, was the reason that the Pizza Hut demo discs happened, because he was actually working for Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. So, if you've ever heard the, the meme, My Body is Reggie, you've I've ever heard that I've meme? I've never heard that meme. Well, it's because he was a Nintendo of America guy, and he was debuting a, uh, there's like a, like, like, lag with jumping in this, I do now realizing. Mm. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, memes, memes are dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm crashing, can you tell? Yes. Uh, yeah, I have the absolute worst social battery. Except with me. Except with you. You're the only. You're the only person, like, legitimately, that I've ever like had my social battery like recharge when being around, which is bananas to me, because I'm not. I'm not a social person. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Like even like my. I. I mean, I love my best friends. I love my friends. But even most of my friends, like, drain my battery real quick. Mm. I just don't have it in me. Yeah. I think, for me, like, COVID really drained my social battery. And I was like, oh, I have all this time to, like, not have to talk to anyone. Well done. And now it's like, anytime someone talks to me and I'm like, oh, yeah. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I do like socializing, though. Yeah. I like making people just, laugh. Just the thought of having to go somewhere where I know there's going to be a lot of people drains my battery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, learned that the hard way the other night. Yeah. But right. uh, I think that's going to do it for now, guys. Yeah, thank you all for joining. Thanks yes. for coming with. We appreciate you. We love you. We'll see you uh, next Friday, if not in the Monday video. And go watch today's video. Like, nobody's watching today's video. I feel bad. Also, we have a surprise. We have a surprise. What surprise? We have... Jackson and I are doing a podcast. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. You guys, it'll, it should be out Sunday mm. at around 11 or, or 
Dune or something, and it's gonna be cool. So make sure you watch that. Mm. But that's Y'all it for now. Take care. So Marcus. Yeah. We will see you uh, next time. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.